uh, we had an elder meeting uh, last week, last Sunday, and um, I just want to share with you, I was in Phoenix when the women's tea was going on, and they sent me pictures, and, and then I got a text this morning from someone who wanted to come to the service. They said, uh, does a junior high meet, um, uh, do they come to the service or do they meet elsewhere? I said, you know, I have no idea. Uh, I don't even know who's in charge of the tea. I know my wife was there. My kids were there. I, I don't know what's going on in this church day in and day out. I don't know how many ministries there are. Um, and because for the last two and a half years, um, Rick has been training the staff, and one in particular, Micah, uh, to oversee it all, which Micah's done. And we have we've placed him in that position. Um, and so Rick and I were talking, and... Uh, we decided to acknowledge Micah for what he already has been. That's, I'm not leaving. Please understand that. I'm not going anywhere. But um, in 18 months, Micah will become the senior pastor of Godspeak, and I will be pastor emeritus. So uh, a lot of you are shocked. You think I'm leaving. I'm not. Just back off. I'm still going to do exactly what I'm doing now. Um, but Micah, the, the man deserves the title of the job he's already been doing and I love this young guy, and Rick, they're, they're not responding. I'm a little worried. Why don't you? Well, it's our job to raise yeah. up the next generation. Paul the Apostle had his Timothys and his Tituses, and Moses had Joshua, Elijah had Elisha. This is how ministry continues uh, perpetually from yeah. generation to generation. It's not a one generation then done. Right. And so uh, one of the things that really fumbles is at the baton exchange, like a relay race. And so that's what we're doing at this time and training up. And we couldn't have, uh, you know, Rob and I, between the two of us, have been serving the Lord for about 80 years. Tells you how old we are. <clears throat> but... Rick's got 60 of those. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's seven months older than I, so we're definitely Hard to tell. the brothers from a different mother. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I just want you guys to know uh, when Rob asked me to come, because he, the Lord really opened up a door for him in an incredible way on a national level, and I came to help with the staff and to raise them up, not knowing what... I was really going to be dealing with, and yet you guys have this uh, uh, real true diamond in Micah Stevens, who happens to be his son-in-law as well, that doesn't always work that way. It's not a nepotism thing, it's an anointing thing, and uh, that is the work and the grace of God uh, on a Micah's life, and By honestly, the way, real quick, Micah was hired before he fell in love with my daughter, so no, there's no nepotism there. <laughs> Just sheer attraction, and the, the boy's got good taste. Go he ahead. Does, yes. <laughs> so I just want to encourage you guys, as well as uh, Rob, for raising up such a, a fine young man in the ministry. He's been on staff for some 13, 14 years already, started at the age of 17. And so he knows all of the, I mean, Micah has more gifting and talent in one pant leg than I got in my whole body. And so, and that's, uh, you, don't, you usually don't have that when somebody's stepping up. So I'm just so excited to be a part of this process to invest in Micah. He's a sponge. Anything I share with him, he just immediately takes it and runs with it and makes it better. And uh, that's what you want. So this is a very, very exciting season for the future of the ministry here at God yeah. Speak. So at, at yeah, yeah man, clap. amen. Yeah. It's time to celebrate. So at 18 months, uh, which is going to be July uh, of 2025, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I'm around, <laughs> no, I'm not kidding, I'm healthy as an ox, but uh, in, in July of 2025, Micah will assume the position of senior pastor. In the process of those 18 months, Rick is going to be working with the staff and developing them. I'll be doing the same thing. I'll still be covering the 9 and 11. Um, and it, I, won't, I won't be doing anything differently. And even after the 18 months, I won't do anything differently unless Micah says so, because he's going to be the senior pastor. <laughs> and, and you're not going to go around him. He's going to be running the entire show. But I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to remain here. And uh, he, he may want me to preach. He may not. But that's up to him. You know? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I, want, I want Micah and Molly to come on up so you guys will know who they are. And you can be praying for them and encouraging them. Come on up, you guys.
So I, I had proposed this to Micah. Uh, Rick and I then shared it with him. And, uh, you know, he, he was a little nervous, uh, but he, he's, he's up to the task. And I, I loved watching as his mind started to process um, of how, how that would, would work out. And I, I marvel at how gifted he is. When I first heard him leading worship, I thought how terrible he was. <laughs> And then God anointed him, and he's the best worship leader in the country, as far as mm -hmm. I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, amen. 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 And then we, we, he, he didn't have a lot of opportunities to teach because he's leading worship, but then, Rick, you, you threw him to the wolves a few times, which is cool. Mm -hmm. And he rose to the occasion, and he, it's irritating how good he is at it, because... <laughs> I had to work really hard to get somewhat decent, and he's really good at it. And then, again, the one thing I have that has caused me great success in life is I'm married well. Well, doggone it, he did too. And, uh, and so they have a lovely family, and I'm just blessed by Micah. What do you have to say to the folks? <laughs> well, open your Bibles, and we're going to be... <laughs> no, uh, plenty of time to do that, but uh, I'm overwhelmed with... God's mercy and his grace. We we're just reading in Psalm 136, his mercy endures forever. And um, I'm excited. I'm so excited. The first couple of times I got asked to teach, I was a nervous wreck and I didn't want to do it. And uh, God surprised me in um, uh, equipping me and showing me that it actually is uh, my calling, and I'm excited and more excited than I've ever been to do anything in my life except marry my wife. Um, <laughs> and so uh, I'm stoked. I uh, the 741, someone's baby is in the nursery and they're going crazy. So, okay, you got it? Perfect. <laughs> Just keeping track of everything. Whose baby was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, thank you guys. I, I, like uh, Pastor, Pastor Rick said, I've been here for 13 years and uh, I've Two of my five kids have been baptized here. Uh, I am more excited than ever to lead you guys, and uh, God is good. And pa like Pastor Rob says all the time, uh, we're not up here because we're the most eloquent speakers. We're not up here because we're the most studied. There are people in this congregation that can preach better sermons, people, people in this congregation that can lead better worship, but this is just God's, um, God's way of using the foolish things of the world to confound the wisdom of the wise. Amen. And uh, we're, we're not special because we're up here. Um, we're just here because we said yes to what God called us to do. Amen. And so I'm excited. Uh, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Amen. Rick, why don't you pray for him? Father, we feel so blessed to see your anointing going to this next generation. Lord, we thank you for Micah and Molly. We thank you for their five beautiful children. And we ask for the anointing of the Spirit to fall upon these two, to strengthen them and bolster them for the calling and the gifting. Lord, we pray for that double portion, that double anointing upon him and this family to take God's speak to new heights, Lord. And we rejoice in advance for how you're going to do it, what you're going to do, and who you're going to do it with as the team grows, as we continue to move forward. Lord, you endure from generation to generation, and we worship you as we see the next generation rising up and saying, as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bless you guys.